Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. It's Lauren at Inspirational Goods with another episode of Quotes to Live By, where I pick a quote each week to share some inspiration or motivation or just something positive for you to think about for your week ahead. And this week I wanted to talk about the power of giving and helping others. And I found a quote from the late poet and author Albert Pike. His quote goes, what we do for ourselves dies with us. What we do for others in the world remains and is immortal. And I love this quote because it just shows the power of giving to others and helping others um, and how much kindness towards other people and other things goes a really long way. When you think about it, we, we should, and I'm not saying we shouldn't do things for ourselves. It's important for us to do things for ourselves because it helps with our own sanity and we need to take care of ourselves um, to, to give ourselves a, a great life and be healthy mentally, spiritually, physically. Um, so I'm not saying don't, don't focus on the things you need to do for you, but I want to talk about the importance of not just doing stuff, stuff for yourself and, um, you know, reaching out to others in need, um, and the importance of offering help, volunteering, um, being generous, being kind, um, and, you know, those things that we do for ourselves, those are for, that is for ourselves, that feeds our own soul, which is important, but that's, that dies with us when we are no longer here. A kind act and helping others, um, doing something that's a little bit outside of yourself, and um, that is something that can be spread to one person, but it's a cascading effect, and it's, it's something that when you're kind to someone else, you don't realize the impact that has on their life that they're in turn to spread, and it is you know, as he said, you know, it is kind of world changing. These small acts we do, we don't realize the significance that they can have as they spread. Um, and I just think it's so important with the amount of negativity in the world today for us, this you listening to this right now, to be that individual that makes someone believe in the goodness of people. And, and that's something that is so simple that we can all do, um, whether it's just a smile, whether it's listening. Um, it doesn't cost money, um, and sometimes it doesn't even really cost any time. Um, it's just being kind and, and spreading that um, to other people. And what I thought was actually really interesting that I also wanted to share um, about giving towards other other people and things, um, I was reading in a Psychology Today article about the correlation between um, giving and being generous and volunteering with links to happiness in the brain. Um, and it's basically in helping others, we, we help ourselves. And we increase our overall well-being and we decrease our overall levels of depression when we are volunteering, when we're helping someone else out. And what happens is we have that positive social environment because we're helping others and it makes us more relatable to others because we are social animals and we want that connection and that relatability. So when we're connecting with others by helping them in some way, it actually shows um, they found neural evidence and MRIs showing that by giving, there's a link between that and happiness in our brains. So it also helps us out. Um, so anyway, I just, I wanted to share this with all of you. It's, if you're having a bad day, the fastest way to boost your mood is to do something kind for someone else. And you're also going to be impacting their world. So um, just remember that. Um, as you go through your your live lives and um you know and when you really think about it at, going back to this quote um you know at the end of our lives you know we may and i think it's important to experience all that you want to experience in this life but it's it, it at the end of the day at the end of our lives it's not about the money or the things we collect it's about you know, experiences that fill our own soul, but also how we touch others. And that is a legacy that will live on forever. So um, anyway, I just hope that this was something um, that, uh, you know, gave you something to think about this week um, as you share and, and you live your life with people around you. And um, just something I thought was important to remind all of us about. So thank you as always for listening and I look forward to seeing you again next week with another episode. Bye everyone.